Hi everyone, it's Graham from Lakeside and a slightly different video this time um, to do with my Dink Toy collection. I've just been watching a video from David Hyde who I subscribe to and um, he does model railways but like me um, he's also restored that Rolls Royce Silver Wraith there um, he's restored one and um, it thought it got me to thinking that oh I actually haven't done an update on this yet um, and probably quite a few of my new subscribers don't really know that I've got this collection um, a lot of these were from my childhood um, and um, I then started carrying on collecting them and um, <laughs> I've gone a little bit OTT in the fact that I couldn't stop buying them there are just so many there which I only bought the ones which I had as a kid um, so all these here you see um, I mean I've got duplicates of some here like those taxes there but most of them I had when I was a child um, and there's still more to collect obviously than what I've got here but that just shows you a kind of a <clears throat> selection of the ones I've got some I've restored, some I haven't. Um, this blue Jaguar here I've restored. Um, it was a heap when I got it. And the same with this Austin Devon here. I've restored this one. Um, and I only restore them when they really are in a bad, bad way. There's some there like those, which I don't consider bad. That's just played with. Um, that one there, all that needs is a few tyres on it and it's job done. But I like to get them in the variations of the colour schemes they came in. And there you can see the different, there's four different colour schemes there of the same vehicle. Uh, down here um, is a selection of American toys which are called Tootsie Toys. And these were produced in the 30s at the height of the depression and they were made very very cheaply so that parents could buy them and give them to their kiddies at Christmas or so forth and they were sold for about a dollar each and over the back there for the richer kids um, they got the trucks as well but they're gorgeous these toys they really are so reminiscent of the 1930s um, had a few problems with them in later years because of the metal they were used it was just cheap mazak so in later years of course you get the mazak rot coming in but luckily all mine are okay I haven't got any of that yet um, down here are the heavier duty dinkies, lorries, trucks, tractors, etc. And then down here, again, more lorries. This one here, um, I've restored that. That was an absolute shambles when I got that, but I've put new posts in and chains and uh, sprayed it or airbrushed it some more over the back and down here um, it's this is all UK military tank transporter tanks on ambulances guns amphibious vehicles hovercraft two kinds of rockets again um, these are slightly different um, in the fact that the original one the mechanism at the back was all metal the gearing to raise the rocket was metal and on the later uh, yeah the later ones they made them out of plastic so I've got both versions there <coughs> and then up the top here just there. Um, I've got another restored 
A40, I think this is, Somerset, Austin A40 Somerset, with a caravan, which I've restored, both of those. And the others that I'm restored, there's a Humber there, two Humbers in different colours, one tow in a speedboat, one tow in a caravan, a couple of lorries, Land Rover. And then down here is one which I've also restored, um, but that is uh, what we call a Code 3, where it's um, modified. Um, that started off as, if I can pick it out, one of those. And it was crushed, the whole roof was crushed in. Um, so I took the roof off, created a new boot at the back, put an interior in from an old Cadillac which was, if I can find it, yeah, there we go. That's part of the interior there. And I made the hood up out of resin, put a driver in, and I've got the wheel from the Cadillac, I think. Yeah, there's the wheel there. So it's a complete and utter mishmash of different parts of cars. I've covered in the back wheel arch so that it looks like it's got spats on, changed the shape of the front wing here, I've filled that in there. As you can see it's open here showing the hole of the spare wheel. So it's quite a lot different to it. So that's called Code 3. And there's several up here which I've done. I mean, I, I guess these aren't code threes as such because they're sprayed in the exact colour match of the original dinky. Um, including all the silver is the correct match for the silver. So there you go, just a short overview of the dinky toy collection. Oh, there's space there because I forgot to show you that. These are two um, gliding club vehicles, both the same car, which is a Triumph 2000. Um, it's got an opening bonnet and boot here, and they've got a little suitcase in the back. But on the back is a glider which you can assemble, and with the use of a um, elastic band you can fly them and the reason why I've got two is because they came in two versions this one with a red fuselage and yellow wings and tail plane this one is the reverse this has got a yellow fuselage and red wings so and they've, they've got their own original boxes um, like a lot of these actually um, I'll try to get them with the original boxes if I can so there we go I just thought I'd show you that and I'll say that is the that's the one which David had just restored done extremely well too I must say he's done a cracking job of it um, but that's the one he's just done. As you can see, this is not restored. It's totally mint. Look at the underside of that. Fabulous. Got the original box for that. And one of the most common things on this is the flying lady on the radiator here that is invariably broken off. So there you go. Just a quick overview. And thank you David for uh, reminding me and uh, keep on doing what you're doing because you've done a cracking job on the restoration you've done of that Rolls Royce. Okay people, so thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. So bye for now. Bye.